So what is going on people and welcome to episode 29 of the Barnsley Career Mode here on FIFA 22, the start of season 4, this time in the Premier League. If you are looking forward to this season, make sure you pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel. And well, normally, the last few seasons, I've started at the first game of the season. Um, there's a lot that's going on, so I felt like actually this time we'd start at the start. City of Simon Maguire, that's weird. And I would just update you as to what is actually going on, what my thought process is, and things that happen, we'll sort of go through them. Just thought, you know, change it up a bit. Um, so, yeah, this is this is what I'm thinking. So, uh, players have left. Um, Kolasinac and Valakari left. They went on pre-contracts. Wolbeck and Tosin have retired. Um, Torres has come in on his pre-contract. So this is now, what at this moment in time, what my starting eleven looks like. Safanov in goal, now 80 rated. Arias at right back. Caceres, who is a central midfielder, but we have been we played him at centre-back last season. Going to carry on doing so this. Pavlovich, 83. Faze at 78. Going to go with Faze. Or Faze, yeah, Faze, I guess. Uh, rather than Helic. And Styles at left back. Davison Hoffman in the middle. Zinkalago on the right. Trone up top. And Torres is going to operate uh, on the left. He can play there as well as central midfield. Um, but we're going to choose to operate him uh, on the left-hand side this season. But obviously, of course, we've seen players can move as and when. Um, so that's my starting eleven. Now, my backup eleven. I've got a whole spreadsheet mapped out um, for this. So my backup eleven. So Blanco is my backup keeper. Palencia is my backup right back. My backup centre backs are Helic, Jack Stevens, and Sebastiano Laporto. Backup left back is Ortega. Uh, Domingos Kina and Pap Diop are my backup centre mids. Bassi is my backup right winger. Batshuayi my backup striker. Castileo is my backup left winger. So it's probably easier just to show you on that thing. So Safanov is the keeper. Caballero, we're going to look to loan him out again. Um, still only 21. If he can get a good loan spell and get some growth, he could be number one next season. One uh, Bjorn Meyer, I'm going to loan him out. He's a youngster from the academy. Zidane's still out on loan at Newcastle. Blanco is my backup keeper. Vita, we're going to look to loan out again. Um, just see if we can get some more growth out of him, to be honest, because he keeps. I feel like this is his last season. Um, to see if he can grow well on his next loan, then we may well use him. If not, we'll sell him next summer. Styles, my first choice left back. Garcia, we're going to look to loan out again. Ortega, backup left back. A lot of players ex con uh, contracts expiring as well. We've also signed two players to new deals. Um, Pavlovich being the mo the main one. He was uh, yeah, his contract was expiring next season, so I've already tied him down. Liam Kitching is um, transfer listed. Just not enough growth from him at 24-69 needs to be better so he's going Sraha we transfer listed as well he's too low a rating I think to just worth trying to grow him so we're going to get rid of him Alec backup centre back Lopuerto backup centre back Miazga we're going to try and sell we've got a lot of centre backs and um, yeah just felt like he was the one that we could sell so he's transfer listed Stevens is still there uh, he's going to be backup centre back Faze starting centre back Palovic best player on the team Palencia back up right back Johnson so I was considering selling Ben Johnson and play right or left but he signed a new deal because Arias is now 32 so what I'm expecting is for him to start declining soon um, so with that in mind I'm going to keep Ben Johnson loan him out this season so next season hopefully if Arias has started to decline Johnson is ready to step in. That's my thinking. So, yeah, that's what I would have sold him otherwise. But because Arias is getting on, I'm keeping him. Uh, speaking of Arias, yeah, 32 now. Last um, last year of his deal, 80 rated. He's going to be our starting right back. Mendy, retiring. There's nothing you can do with retiring players. So, he's just going to be in the, in the squad. But we won't use him. The up last year of his deal is going to be a backup centre-back. Shepard, youngster from the academy. Um, just going to sell him. I think probably too low to expect any growth from at 18 years of age. Caceres starting centre-half. 
Alexander's still out on loan at Mainz, but 78 will probably be included when he comes back, if not another loan. Fagioli is 77. He's still out on loan at Hoffenheim. With Bembe, 79, are still on loan at Roma. Xavi Simmons, we're going to loan out again. Benson is transfer listed. I do like Josh Benson, but we have a lot of central. We have, in total, 19 players in this squad that can play central midfield. I'm not even joking. Yeah, that is that can surely is that right? Yeah, nineteen players that can play central midfield. So yeah, yeah, we need to get rid of some. Um, so Benson, yeah, do like Josh Benson, but he's just not going to get any game time. So we'll let him go. Same with Zorgan. Uh, didn't grow on his loan spell last season. Um, I know the comments wanted him, but with the way the squad has progressed. He's just not going to see any game time, so we're just going to let him go. Owen Hurst is uh, one of his on his thing. His status is uh, one for the future, whatever that thing is. Um, Sixty-six at sixteen, we're going to load him out and see if we can get him some game time. Wilson's loan listed as well. Really good growth on his loan spell last season. Torres is going to come in. Only signed a one-year deal, um, but he's going to play on the left wing for us. Hoffman starting centre mid, Davis starting centre mid, Vincent another one from the academy. We're going to look to loan out. Keener is a backup central midfielder, but I may look to swap him and Torres around and on the left hand side. So watch this space with Domingos Keener. Oyen, um, good growth from him. We're going to loan him out again. Lanzini is transfer listed, um, just because yeah, just we've got better in the positions that he can play in. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna leave us. Castileo um, is going to be our backup winger. Um, maybe third choice, actually. Depends how much football Keener sees and how good um, Torres is. Bassi, backup right winger for now. Zinkadagel, starting right winger. Xerxes going to loan him out again. Hopefully, he can grow enough on loan this season so that he can sort of maybe take back Schwai's spot next season and maybe we can look to get rid of Michi. He's going to be back up this season. Uh, Smith is out on loan at Reading still. And uh, Catrone is going to be our starter. Um, so in total, we have seven players on the transfer list, 11 on the loan list. That's how big this squad is. Um, and we've got Mendy as well. So it's a 23-man squad as well as 18 players we're looking to get out of the club. So it's what, 41 players? There are areas we are going to look to improve. I'm going to see if Politano is still available. If Politano is and he's willing to talk, um, then we may well bring him in and let someone else go. But the areas that I'm looking to improve this season are centre-back. Even if they're backups, I just feel like we need decent centre-backs. Maybe two. Maybe two top-quality centre-backs. And potentially another really good winger. Um, so... Probably looking at replacing Bassi of all people. But yeah, we will have a look. I haven't looked at anything else. Literally, I've just sorted this squad and that's it. Transfer-wise, okay. James Garner is a free agent. He don't know his rating though. Politano is free, so we may well look to get him in. So yeah, we have 55 million and decent amount of wages. So we've got a bit of bigger room. In terms of board expectations this season... Uh, the confidence rating is great. Youth development. Uh, okay, so not massive, not like high priorities. Obviously, we've got the the hangover one. Um, side of youth player, get them to play in five matches. Probably not going to happen, but hey-ho. Um, get the thing up to age of 28. It's now 24. Not going to interest in do that. Increase your club worth by 20% through player sales. We should do that just from the end of the season, getting prize money. They want us to finish mid table and they want round of 16 in the FA Cup. Ambitious, to say the least. I don't know how the season is going to go. I feel like with the performances we've put in against Premier League teams, we could do okay, but then we could also struggle like we did last on last's game. So it'll be interesting to see. And obviously, no continental objective. So that's what we have to do. Joe, you know what? I'm not going to bother with Politano. He wants a lot of money, and that's not. I'm, as a newly promoted club, I'm not too keen on offering that much money. So, 
we'll have to wait and see. But let me set up some scouting missions. Um, and then if anything happens, of course, I will update you. But no, yeah, like always, we'll update you. We'll probably get bids for players we're not looking to sell, but we'll have a look. But we're on the road to the first game of the season. Okay, well, first bit of business. Um, so we've set, uh, set up scouting networks. I've called up another youngster from the academy we're looking to loan him out. Got an offer for Luca Oyen from, Sus for, uh, from Sassuolo for 8 million. The director reckons we could get almost 12. To be honest, I'd be kind of open to selling Oyen, to be honest. Just because he's not really someone that I've used too much. Uh, well, I haven't used at all. Loaned him out straight away. But if we get decent money for him, I wouldn't be adverse to selling him. Um, I'd take sort of 11, just over 11. So... I'll, I'll entertain this. So we'll, we'll aim for 11.8 and see what they say. But yeah, I'm definitely open to negotiation. So we'll go 11.8 and see what they say. Look at me and my locks. They're up it to 10.6. Okay, so they've come up quite a lot. We'll counter. If they're willing to come up, I said I was going to take just over 11. So we'll... Go for that, and if they will take that, yeah, they're happy to take that. Okay, they were willing to come up, so I was, I probably could have got more for them, but actually, I was willing to meet them, so yeah, happy with that. So, we may well see Luca Oye and leave, and then all these players about loans and uh, transfers. So, we've got a friendly against Celta Vigo, um, I'll show you that in a second. So, friendly against Celta Vigo, a couple of players on international duty, but we are just gonna sim this game and. 3-1 loss. Caceres with our only goal, but a consolation. Had the better of the game as well. Disappointing, but unfortunately, we're at this level. We're going to play good teams in friendlies this season. Benson's release clause has been met by Bordeaux. Oh, no. I didn't know he had a release clause of that low. Right. Okay. Well, that's a pain. How much is he worth otherwise? That's annoying. Financial value. What's his value? Styles is worth forty seven Pavlovic is worth fifty eight million. Well Benson is worth where are you? Four point one. Ah, okay, so not the end of the world. But anyhow, he could be on his way to Bordeaux and we wanted to get rid of him, so So Louis Oyen has gone to Sassulo then. Well that's um yeah, not necessarily a deal I was looking to do, but yeah, someone that Never even played for us, but decent money for someone we've never played, and you know it's fair play to him. He'll go off and play. Was more than happy with that. So yeah, so so the first deal done of the summer, and now we've had an offer for Michi Batshuayi, sixteen million from Premier League rivals Brighton, who we will play in this episode. But I'd want he's worth sixteen. They've offered sixteen. I would want more than I think the director suggests we can get so I'm just going to reject that offer for Mitchie. Probably want closer to about 25 million but they're not going to entertain it so we wouldn't bother. So Fiorentina then in this friendly and I've just noticed Jacob Ramsey not even in their probable lineup. That is heartbreaking but nevertheless Creeks in this one against Fiorentina and a 2-0 win. Bassi at the double as well. Someone we're looking to get rid of they probably had the better of the game, so uh, interesting. But, uh, yeah, not bad. 2-0, we'll take that against Fiorentina. And there we go, confirmation as well. Josh Benson has gone to Bordeaux. Okay, so a couple of bids have come in. We've had one for Arias, one for Pavlovic. Dorman a bid for Arias. Oh, United. 37 million plus Palestri for Pavlovic. Man United is not really a team we can turn down, but Pavlovic is my best player and my most important player. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not giving in to the bigger teams. I'm holding out. I'm rejecting it. I know we try, often talk about realism, but he's our best player. So I want I want money. I want a lot of money. And I I I don't know. I just I and I, yeah, Dortmund won't give us the money I want for Arias either, so I'm rejecting. But we're getting to that stage now where it's kind of going to be hard to turn teams down. 
But it's all about the money. We need the money to be able to improve this squad. Now we've had a bid for Lanzini, which is actually a bid we wanted. I'm just going to accept that from Granada, I think. But we're, yeah, uh, friendly against Mudgy Gladback. Right, so friendly against Mudgy Gladback. We made a couple of changes at the back just because of tired legs, but we will sim this one as well. And a 2 1 defeat. Davis grabbing a consolation. So that might well be us out, I think, of the pre season tournament. No more friendly. So now it is literally just a case of countdown to the start of the season. If there's any other transfer news, I will bring it to you. We've had a loan offer for uh, Garcia from Mallorca for a loan to buy. Not interested, so I'm just going to uh, yeah, look for a one-year loan deal with that one. So we said we were looking at centre-backs, and well, a number have appeared, of course... You know, I do a lot of scouting um, while the transfer windows are closed. So we've got a lot of scout reports for players. A lot based in France, but a decent selection here. And I was just having a look um, at, you know, like different options and stuff. And I kind of, I don't have many English players. Looking at my, look at my start line, like my keeper's Russian, right back's Ari, uh, Colombian, centre backs are uh, Serbian. Argentinian and Belgian. My left back, Callum Styles, now technically Hungarian, although he's English, plays for Hungary. Centre mids, German and English. Right wing's Danish. Striker's Italian. Left winger, Spanish. Don't have that many English players, but Mark Gray is someone that interests me. 23 years old, 78 rated, so definitely improve. Yeah, English as well. Look at like sprint speed of 89. Jumping 81, strength 81, really good reactions as well. Has already got some very good stats um, and will keep improving. So, Gway is not someone that is they're going to sell. All of that for nothing, eh? Alright, okay. Well, I was, to be fair, I was having a look at some other players. Dennis Popov, again, someone that interests me. 79 overall. So he would probably come straight into the first team. 25 years of age. Ukraine as well. Plays with Schalke. Um, decent, although not acceleration isn't good. Speed, sprint speed is, wow, jumping a 90. Strength is good. Reactions, not quite as good as Gray. Regression, really good though. Interceptions, decent. Good heading as well. So he was my second option. And well, now he might well be my first option. They'd want between 23 and 33 million for him. And I think that's a deal we could probably have a look at doing. Well, after consulting the finances, it is a deal that we certainly are capable of doing. So it is one that we will look to make. Now he's worth 20 million. So we'll offer that straight up. They want Michi Batshuayi plus 19 million. Right. Okay. Um, so we will counter this. We'll other offer another player. Uh, how about we're wanting we do we want to get rid of Miazga. So let's offer them Miazga. Plus, I feel like they well that they wanted nineteen million and Mitchy was so they're, they're about thirty five million they're looking for. Right, so let's offer that plus. Um, let's offer like 18 and a bit and see what they say. They're not interested in Miazga, but they want 32 million plus a sell on fee. Okay, right, so they want 32. I'm going to counter. We go 28. We'll go 28 and a half, 28 and a half and see what they say. They can have the sell on fee as well. Right, cool. They're happy with 28 and a half. Right, that was, that's uh, a bit more than I was expecting to pay, but it's not too bad to be fair. We're going to have to pay big bucks now. We're in the Premier League, but we will negotiate with the man. And I think, oh, look at my luscious hair. Might have to make it a bit darker. He wants important. He would come in and play straight away. So I'm happy to give him important. Offer him three years. He's happy with that. 
No release clause is fine. Now we need to offer him wages. No, I'm not offering him 11. Let's offer him what he's on and see what it says. He might get annoyed. Yeah, insult. I thought it might be. All right, well, we'll go back in for Popov, I think. We'll give it, you have to wait a week, I think, and then we'll go back in for him. Lazzini has gone to Granada for seven and a half million. And Mallorca have accepted our deal for a year. So we will accept that. And hopefully Garcia will go on loan. Garcia has gone out on his loan. But I think a week has now passed. And we've got a lot more in terms of centre back. I think a week has now passed. It is. So we'll go back in for Popov. And uh, let's see. So we offered them, what was it, 28 and a half, I think we agreed upon. So we'll offer that. Oh, come on. Remove. This is what we agreed. Right, hang on. Add a sell on clause of 10%. Submit the offer. No. Stop being difficult. My headset is about to die. Right, come on. 28 and a half. Oh my god. A bit right, we might have to push it up. Let's go 29 and a half. Oh, do you know what? Fine, yeah, fine, whatever. 30.3. You better not want too much in wage then. If we fall out again over wage, this is going to be ridiculous. Yes, you can have important cool three year deal is fine with me. Disregard right now, he's told me what he wants. Fine, we were quite a way off actually. That's fine, right? Popov is in. Finally, so that means that we can now. Um, I probably put Laperto up for sale to be honest. Let me go and sort this out. So Popov is in, we've set up a development plan. He's number 15, he has slotted straight into the first team, and now Laperto is on the transfer list. But I've been made aware of some more center backs that I think you'll agree. Yeah, there's a couple of young center backs that I've been made aware of. That intrigue me. And uh, I think I'd agree. One of them, Bruno Garcia, 81 at 19. Not bad. And decent, to be fair. The one I was looking at, where's he gone? This bloke. Alex Rossi at Inter. 18 years old, already 80 rated. Decent athleticism. Defending's good as well. But look at those greens. Fairly quick, agile, good jumping, really good strength, good aggression as well. He's six foot four, decent weak foot. I like this kid a lot. And they're willing to sell as well. Expensive. It is expensive, but we do have the money. And I think this would be again, he would he'd probably come in and take Casarez's spot. So our back three would be Pav Pavlovich, Rossi and Popov. And I think this could be a major, major upgrade as well. At 18, like, he could only, he, he's only going to get better. And already at 80 rated, this kid could be something pretty special, it must be said. They might want a bit for him, but he's only worth chance around. So let's go and see if we can buy Senor Rossi. So he's, he's worth 24. We will offer that straight away. They want 40.9. Right. Okay. Um, let's up it a little bit. Let's not go in straight away. We'll offer 26 and a bit. 26, almost 27. Let's see what they say. They're still holding on to 40. The inter manager does not look happy. So what's that? We offered them 26 and they want 40. So that's like 14 million difference. Right, let's go. Let's offer it. We'll go up a bit. We'll say 33.8. Actually, no, do you know what? Stuff the 0 0.8. 34 mil. They're happy with that. Right, okay. They've come down a considerable bit, but 34 is certainly not bad. How much is he on? Uh, I couldn't. Oh, I think I'm not too sure. Either way, meeting him at a fancy 
restaurant. I'm loving the hair, by the way. It is too blonde, but there we go. He'd definitely come in and be an important player. He wants a five-year deal. That is fine with me at 18 years of age. Tell me what you want, please. No, okay. We may risk offending him. Offer him what he's earning. Oh, he's happy with that. What a signing that is. What a signing that is. To be honest, I think we can probably take all of these off. We can probably sell Jack Stevens now, I would say. That is a massive signing. So yeah, Rossi's in. Giving him the number 21, which I think was Lanz Lanzini's number. Actually, and now, where is he? Yeah, Jack Stevens. We can sell. No problem. We will slip him into the team. I think ahead of uh, ahead of Caceres, yeah. To Ross, he's actually left footed now. Papa's right. Fine. Excellent. Lovely old job. Well, that's, uh, yeah, we've moved one day on from putting Jack Stevens on the transfer list and we've had an offer from Sassuolo for him. So I'm just going to accept that. Let Yavi Simmons loan to buy. I'm not interested in selling him, but we will look to loan him out to Watford for a year and see what they say but yeah could uh could be selling stevens straight away laperto is glad to be up for sale happy days we've got in terms of budget seven million i think we can stretch that to about 16 so we're gonna look for a winger but we might not make any moves we've spent well between rossi and popov it's almost 65 million on two new center backs so uh yeah, that's where a lot of our money's gone. If we can get some more sales, we've still got seven players on the transfer list. So if we can sell some more players, then we may be able to bring in a winger. But yeah, we'll just continue on for now. So Watford have agreed to take Simmons on a year's loan. Happy days. Hopefully he'll go out and get that loan deal. Jack Stevens has gone to uh, Sassuolo. Seven and a half million. We get a little bit in the coffers. Lovely old job. That was nice and quick. And Yavi, uh, Xavi Simmons has gone on loan to Watford as well. Happy days. Had a loan offer for Caballero again. A loan to deal. Uh, loan to buy, sorry. This time from Celta Vigo. But we will just offer a year's loan. Hopefully he will go out on loan there. Had a loan to buy offer. All loan to buy. I don't know why. For Ruben Wilson, one of our academy youngsters from Feyenoord. Again, not looking to sell. But year's loan. Hopefully he'll go out there. So Celta have agreed to a one-year deal for Caballero. And again, another loan offer for one of our academy youngsters, Owen Hurst, this time from Huesca. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, offer them a one-year loan deal and see what they say. So Huesca have agreed to a one-year loan deal. I know we can see some other transfer offers. Um, Feyenoord have accepted one year as well for Ruben Wilson. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> Callum Styles, Chelsea for £57 million. Pounds. Oh, this is one of those deals that they probably... The director reckons we could get ballpark what I would probably want for him. Up to 82 rate now as well. I think this is an offer we potentially have to entertain. Oh, let's negotiate. He's our club captain as well, but this is an offer. Pavlovich is one thing, but... This is an offer that I would be silly not to consider. Right, 57 and a half, 57 they've offered. Director reckons we can get 82 and a half. So I will start there, but I would take lower. But they're not budging, interestingly. We'll go up, we'll go back to what they said, what we said. But they are not budging. That's their final offer. If that's the case, rejecting it. Not going to sell ourselves short. This is the one I'm worried about. Pavlovich. Hoffenheim. I rejected the 72 million mine. I rejected United. I can certainly reject Hoffenheim. They stay. We move. So you remember how Caballero and Garcia just appeared out of the ether as free agents and were really good? So was Oscar Ponce. 77 rated 18 year old just appeared, just found him as a free agent. I'll take that. 
we will certainly sign him up, sign him up and loot, loan him out for certain. Uh, get him as a prospect. Oh, he wants important. Fine, we'll do it just to get him in. Five year deal is fine with me. Disregard. Yeah, happy to give him that. Sweet. Pons is in. We get him loaned out. Yes, Politano is back on the list. But these are some of the wingers we're looking at. Hopefully looking to get some more scout reports in though. Caballero has gone on loan to Celta for the year. We've had a loan offer from West Ham for Joshua Xerxes. Loan to buy again. Not looking to sell him. So we'll just offer a one-year deal and see what they say. Wilson has got joined Feyenoord on loan. So that's another one out. Interestingly, he had an offer from Sociedad for Sergi Palencia. He's, of course, our backup. Where backup right back. I'm probably going to say no. I think it's not bad money. We could get decent money for him. But yeah, just not someone I'm really willing to sell. I think he's he's the like the next Arias. He's going to fill his fill that gap. So yeah, not someone I'm willing to sell. So Owen Hurst has gone on loan to on loan to Huesca and West Ham have accepted the deal for Xerxes. Lovely stuff. Okay, offer for Pap Diop from Brighton, fourteen and a half million pounds. Don't reckon we could get much more for him, but I'd want a decent chunk of change. So I'm not gonna sell him, especially as we play Brighton in just a few days' time. Xerxes has gone to West Ham on loan. Happy days, but another bid in. Callum Stars Barcelona offering us Matthias Oliveira. Who is just as... He's a left-back that's just as good. So why do you want Styles? I would take Oliveira and he would come in and be our starter. But Barcelona, again, not really someone that you can say no to. They've offered us 12 million plus Oliveira. I'd want a hell of a lot more money than that, though. We negotiate. I want a lot of money. Oliveira is only, what, 29.5 million. So we'll take him. But I want a big old chunk of change. I want 50 million plus Oliveira for Callum Styles. They're offering a sell-on clause. I don't like Chelsea. I don't think this deal for Callum Styles is going to happen. It isn't. I'm not selling our club captain for cheap. I'm not being sold down the river. Okay, 57 million from Chelsea is not cheap, but we can get 80 plus million. So why wouldn't we? So we've had some more scout come in, scout reports come in, as you can see, but we've also had an offer for Philip Zinkenagel from Villa for £16 million, and we can't get much more for him. He's a very effective player. I'm not keen on selling him, especially for that little amount of money, so Zinkenagel stays. Well, this is an interesting one. Arsenal have bid Eric Garcia plus £10 million for Pavlovich. I don't understand why they offer you players of the same position. He's good. He's the same age as Pavlovich. Not quite the same rating. But I'd certainly take him. But again, I'd want like a lot more money than that. I'll entertain this. But they need to offer me a shite ton of money. Plus Eric Garcia. Garcia is someone, of course, we had on last year's FIFA with Barnsley. Offer me 80 million. 82 million is what I want. 80 million, 82 million. Plus Garcia and you can have him. No. I tried. We've had an offer for Bassi from Porto. 10.2 million pounds. Uh, he is someone we're looking to get rid of, but until... We've brought in a replacement. I don't really want to get rid of him. And I'm going to say no for now. I'm going to say no for now. We may well look to sell him later in the window. Uh, think about Caceres. But I think that brings us, it does indeed, to the first game of the new season. So, we will do the press conference. Look at those locks. It's absolutely superb. Uh, can you finish in the top half this season? Um, we have to be consistent if we're going to be able to do that and consistency 
is one thing we have been lacking so far in this career mode. Is Popov ready to make an impact? Um, he'll definitely make a difference. He's been signed to go straight into the team. Is Ross, Rossi ready to make an impact? He'll make a difference for sure. Both of them, of course, important new signings. Just to, the two new signings we've made this summer other than Oliver Torres uh, on a free. Anyway, let's get into this game against Brighton. As you can see, all the Premier League graphics. It all looks good. So this is our lineup for the game then. Safanov and goal. Arias, Popov, Pavlovich, Rossi and Styles at the back. Davis and Hoffman in midfield. Zinconago, Catron and Castillo comes in to replace Torres who drops to the bench for this game. Doesn't it look good finally seeing the Premier League graphics in this series. Dragowski in goal for Brighton. Lamptey, Webster, Lamont, Lamont, Auburn and March at the back. Wepu and Beltran in the middle. Oscar in the number 10 role behind Mbolo and Daka. Very dangerous front line. Some decent options on the bench. Pellegrini, Raspadori there as well. Five at the back. It's going to be difficult to navigate as we have found in this series so far. But opening day of the Premier League in this series, season four of the game. It's taken a while to get here, but here we are. So let's get this underway. Not too sure how this first season of Sully March just makes mincemeat of my right-sided players there. Oscar, good talent, cool from Popov. We'll just get him going it. Completely unopposed, Popov. And he'll keep going, you know. We'll slip a little ball into Zinconago there. Nice little well work this is. And we can get Zinconago in, you know. Cut it back to Catrone. Oh, and he has the strike. Hoffman, can he have a strike? It's blocked. Can we get the ball? No, we can't. Oh, and Daka does really well to get away from Davis. A good early sighter there. And, uh, yeah, Catrone almost getting us off the mark. I don't think that one was as likely to go in as he had a similar chance against... Potentially Reading, I feel, in the last episode. But that one, I don't think it was going in. I think that one was going slightly wide. Daka, good block from uh, Davis. And Zinkenagel has left his midfield teammate to it. And Hoffman is in. Castileo could well be in as well. It's a nice ball. Castileo across the keeper. Oh, he's rocketed against the post. Zinkenagel. Oh, can't get enough on it. Mwepu, Daka again, over towards Mbolo, Rossi to cover, gets a ball in, Pavlovich heads away, oh, couldn't get there, Mwepu to Mbolo, he steps around the youngster, and well, Safanov, it's a save, it's not the most, or most orthodox, but it's against the post and away from danger, that's the most important thing, Zinkadago to Katrone, oh, too slow on the ball, not in the championship anymore, my friend. You need to be quicker than that. They've played around us it. And Bolo trying the fancy. He has found the fancy. And that fancy has set up Oscar to put the ball in the back of the net. Looking a little bit shaky defensively in that situation. But Catrone giving the ball away has been costly there. Too much time on the ball. And not going to get that sort of time in the Premier League. Oh, he just dribbled into his man though. That could go up for a corner. And it has done indeed. Right, let's try and whip this one in if we can. Castileo. Aiming for Zinconagel. It's Popov. He's got a debut goal. It's fortunate with how it's fallen to us. But it's a debut goal for the Ukrainian. It drops to him rather fortunate, fortunately. But we will take that. We deserve that slice of luck. We've been good in this game, I feel. And we find ourselves level. Can we go on now? And potentially find ourselves a winner styles we'll find castileo i was aiming actually for hoffman but we'll go back there now davis it's a big touch hoffman's made the run we found him jonas hoffman i thought for all the world that was going to nestle mitchy oh well there goes the final whistle Finishes one all, not too bad a result. Ideally, a side like Brighton as a team, you would be looking to win against. And arguably, looking at the stats, we probably should have won that game as well. But nevertheless, a point on opening day 
is fine. Settles the nerves. And uh, yeah, so we're eighth in the league. Having a look at the calendar, we will play through this season as we do normally. Yeah, we'll do three games. We'll play these three games next episode. So we've got fellow promoted side Newcastle to start with, and then Scunthorpe in the cup before playing against Spurs in the final game of next episode. And hopefully, well, we'll finish with deadline day as well. Maybe there'll be another signing in there potentially. But for now, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Longer one, slightly, uh, you know, different to how we've done previously. But hopefully, you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, if you are, uh, if you have enjoyed it, drop a like on it for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.